Hey guys, Jib here, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 video, and Season 4 Reloaded is here. We actually put a little bit of time on it last night, get a feel for it, see what's going on, is the new gun any good, is the new map any good, what overall has changed for multiplayer. And I've got to say right off the bat, it seems like Season 4 Reloaded has broken a lot of things without fixing any of the issues that already exist. So the mini map bug that exists where it's kind of like a blackbird but it pauses when the sweep happens you know the same thing that's been broken since season four dropped well it's still here infinity ward hasn't fixed it it has been out for what three four weeks now and they have been unable to fix it i i it's a simple bug i don't know what's going on uh the integrated suppressor on your rifle still undoes ghost and shows you on the radar that has not been fixed either but i think that is a specific reoccurring bug that goes back much longer than the uav bug still an issue and for warzone peeps and i think maybe for multiplayer as well with the world series of warzone tournament being not too far away especially with uh some major aspects coming up that's you know, a match that's been delayed a couple times has kind of broken people's FPSs on PC in a bad way. People who were getting 120 frames easy, have top of the line rigs, their frames are just tanking. Some people are just straight up reporting that it is unplayable for them. And that is nuts, especially with a major tournament coming up for what, $1.2 million where a lot of different people are, you know, it's on the line. It matters that they do well. Like people who have top of the end rigs, who've been practicing nonstop, and then they push a mid-season update that essentially ruins their experience. Something that could legitimately, you know, kill their chances of winning that $1.2 billion. That has come out. I think they just don't have any quality assurance. I know that they fired a lot of them over the past couple years, and I think it started with Cold War when leaks and stuff came out. But nothing feels like it's been tested. This shotgun that you're showing on screen is broken. Don't play shipment right now. Like if you want to un unlock the shotgun and you want to try to grind it out and you just want to be miserable, be my guest. Go play shipment 24-7. That's pretty much the only thing that's going on right now is just shotgun on top of shotgun on top of shotgun. Uh, Unless you have a friend who's already unlocked the shotgun, I think they made it work now where they can drop it in DMZ and give it to you so you can unlock it and have fun with it. Uh, you're going to have to grind it out and you have to do attachments to unlock a challenge to unlock the gun. So like headshots, ADS, kill, hip fires, and stuff like that. You have to do four different challenges. They can all be done at once, but you have to do four of them and point blanks to unlock the 30 point blank kills, I believe, to unlock this gun. Weird set of challenges. It can be unlocked, I think, a little bit faster than other stuff has been unlocked. We'll be going for Orion uh, on it here tonight. Um, but it's just, it, it's broken, and it's another shotgun nobody asked for. It's frustrating, it's annoying, and now, you know, we went from having a shotgun they just recently added that gave the whole Black Ops 3 Brecky spam bringing back in full force. Now we have, essentially, I think I would call the MW2 AA-12 with stopping power spam and to be clear you start off with 15 rounds in the, in the chamber for this bad boy you're not starting off with five and you have to earn your way up you get 15 off the bat it shoots fast it reloads even faster and if you use fast hands even faster it's nuts i don't know how it's going to perform in warzone i'll probably watch some streams to see how this shotgun performs but yeah we didn't need another spamming shotgun that's going to make close range maps painful to play. So I guess if you want to counter it, just put on your SPR build for, you know, immediate ADS one shot kills. You can counter it, uh, but it's going to be very annoying. Very, very annoying. And the gameplay you're seeing on here, I wanted to choose border crossing for a very specific reason. Uh, they actually made it to where the cars, when they blow up, they don't really blow up and they don't damage you. So like, if you watch and pay attention when you throw an explosive, the car like uh, does that kind of thing. 
but there's no explosion, there's no damage profile, there's nothing like that. Infinity Ward, I guess because either people are backing out of it nonstop, refuse to play it, complaining online about it, finally disabled the explosions and the explosive damage on Border Crossing. And you know what makes it kind of funny? This game, I think, came out at what? The end of October? You could have had a kid faster than they actually fixed this map. And all it took was disabling the explosive damage. And I think if we rewind back to when the map first came out, all my streams many ways ago, that was the suggestion I had. Just disable explosive damage and the map would be fine. And as you can see in this gameplay, the map plays a bit better because you're not always on edge with explosions. Now, don't get me wrong. The spawns are still crappy. They're not predictable. They don't move when they should be. But the map plays better now that there's no explosions. Like, you're not on a good streak and you think the entire map has been blown up. You don't have to worry about it. Like, just a random car exploding. And I think the original suggestion I had was, like, we load into the map and then you see, like, a stealth bomber come over and it blows everything up. So everything's already destroyed so it can't blow up on you. But with them just turning off explosions and damage resolve the map so it is better i'm gonna play it a bit more i'm not gonna go immediately and skip it every single time i'm gonna give it a couple more chances this specific game uh played a bit better than all the previous ones normally we have a list of maps when they come up in Modern Warfare 2 uh we all automatically skip to be honest that list is very long compared to previous cods uh border crossing black gold and pretty much any map DLC wise that is derived off of Almazra or Vondel, we immediately just back out because most of the time, if it's linked to Warzone, the map is horrid. They just chunked it out. It doesn't flow well. And speaking of that, Vondel, the waterfront, I believe is the map that just dropped. I played half a game and immediately left. And I think I'm going to be skipping that one moving forward too. Uh, because in the one game we were playing TDM, Despite it being a large map and it was 6v6, I was spawning on top of the enemy and the enemy was spawning on top of me. And it didn't make sense because this is a, a larger size map. Like, we shouldn't be expecting that in 6v6, but it's happening. I don't know if it's because of the revenge spawn system or team-based spawn system or what, but it played atrocious. And essentially, it's just a gimmicky map. It's an easy chunk out of Vondel, and the gimmick is the water. But don't worry... You can really only fight in the water with pistols. They had, they didn't update that. They didn't make it where we could, you know, use actual weapons versus one another. You're just going to have to stick with pistols. Uh, it, it's so baffling. And the one thing that is driving me up the wall a little bit, after seeing the footage come out, I saw Savage streaming Warzone and watching people use the abilities in Warzone with the boys crossover. I'm sitting here asking, why doesn't multiplayer have a limited time game mode where we can use those abilities just a mosh pit i like do they not know how to figure it out just make it to where a care package drops in like you could hybrid drop zone with this new mode you or abilities you put in war zone to where we could fight over a drop zone package to get that ability it could literally be like call of duty ghost 2 back in the day maybe bring back field upgrades where you do a small challenge you get the ability to do it and then we could use it Multiplayer, once again, is getting left out. I would like to have laser eyes and multiplayer to just F around to just have fun. Would be a little bit interesting. Imagine if we did supers infected, right? Maybe get let the zombies and infected jump a bit more and bounce around. But, like, let the survivors, if you reach top level, be able to have those abilities just to try out something different. Would be interesting. But it's not in multiplayer. Multiplayer got shafted again. And it's disappointing. So like, for those of you who are once again asking, should you come back after Season 4 Reloaded for multiplayer? The answer is once again, no. I would recommend whatever you're playing right now, you're having fun with, stay with that. Uh, the game actually got more broken. Especially if you're a PC player you don't want to come back because you don't have the frames like you're supposed to. It's obnoxious. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, like I said, I do plan on getting this shotgun Orion 
and I think I still need to do like the new form of the Cali sticks. I think the batons. Uh, I don't have those Orion either yet. So we have a couple more things we're going to knock out. Uh, gives us some things to stream, at least in Modern Warfare 22, because if I don't have a target to do something, I'm not feeling inclined to stream it. So let me know what you think about this update down in the comment section below. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, MW23 soon.